Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematics, channel with really interesting questions every day and today we have a really interesting challenge, we have 12 minus 12 divided by 2. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, we have very simple subtraction, very simple division, so everyone learns this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. So go ahead and put your answer down into the comment section, we have three options, A, B, C, so choose one option, what do you think is a correct, and write your option down into the comment section, it will be really interesting to check the answers in the end of the video. Okay, this is our first interpretation. I want to start with this solution. So right here we have 12 minus 12 divided by 2. I just wanted to rewrite this question right here. So 12 minus 12 divided by 2. So first type of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, 12, 12 minus 12 on the left hand side equal to 0. We have 0 divided by 2 equal to equal to zero. This is option A and they go next to the next question. They solve this question like that. This is our first interpretation. This is our first solution to this challenge. But I want to say in math we should know about a correct order of operation. We can't solve this question randomly. We can't solve this question wherever we want. We should know what is the correct order to do this problem. Because right here obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. Collect property, okay? So right now let's look for example at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world, so right now let's solve this question not according to this randomly method, but according to this PMDMC order of operation. So we have 12 minus 12 divided by 2. Okay, and right now let's solve it according to PMDMC. So first we should evaluate parentheses, then we should evaluate exponent, then multiplication division group, and then addition and subtraction group is our last step in conclusion. So parentheses has the highest priority and the lowest priority addition and subtraction. So now, now let's scan what elements do we have in our question. What about parentheses? For me personally, I don't see any parentheses, so we just reject this step, we skip this step, we don't have parentheses, and it's really good. Okay, exponent. What about exponent? Maybe cubes, fourth power per fifth power. I don't see any of those, so we just skip this part as well. What about multiplication division group? This is one common group, multiplication division. And if you look closely, right here we have this division sign. So we reject this multiplication sign, reject this multiplication part, we skip it because we don't have multiplication sign, but we have this division part. So right here we have our division division part. So this is our first step to solve this question. And if we go a little bit further, right here we have addition and subtraction group. And in our question we don't have addition and we have subtraction subtraction group right here. So this is our looks like second step. So if we look closely, if parentheses have the highest priority, then division has the highest priority, the higher than subtraction. So the multiplication division group have the highest priority, have the higher priority than addition and subtraction. So first we should divide, then we should subtract. So right here let's do this. So we have 12, 12 divided by 2, this is our first step. So we have 12 minus 12 divided by 2 equal to equal to 6. So 12 minus 6 equal to equal to 6. This is our last step. This is our last step. Subtraction. So first division, then subtraction. But here is maybe the main question. What is the correct answer? This 0 or this 6? Because right here we don't have this option 6. We don't have this option 6 right here in this in this A, B, C. So what is the correct answer? I want to say that 0 is absolutely wrong solution because we solve this question absolutely randomly. We just subtract it first, which is a really bad mistake in terms of math because subtraction is after division. With parentheses, we can do this, we can start with this subtraction because subtraction is inside this parenthesis. Then 12 minus 12 equal to, equal to 0, everything is okay. A 0 is a correct answer with parentheses. In our case, we don't have any parentheses, so we just need we just should go through this explanation. So firstly division and then subtraction. What about correct option? We have option A, B, C, but we don't have this 6. But if you look closely to this 3 factorial, this 3 factorial, this is a product from 1 to 3. So we have 1 times 2 times 3 which is equal to which is equal to 6 so this is the same answer as this 6 so the correct answer to our, to our question is our answer this is option c is a correct answer to this to this challenge to this interesting question so i hope your answer is the same as mine but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong don't feel bad if you choose option zero or option b right here which is which is not good but it happens sometime you should learn about order of operation so i hope you learned something new i hope you understand this explanation but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes you can just go through my youtube channel i have a ton of videos so with that being said i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. See you in the next videos.